death, and life are in the power of the tongue. That's from Proverbs 18, 21. My author's note. This book is a recreation of my childhood and teenage years. All the people and the names are real. All the events actually occurred. The dialogue is true to these people and events and what was said around me as my memory can possibly make it is my own invention. I was not uh, carrying around the, uh, a recording device when growing up in Mississippi, but what I did have, even then, was my writer's ear. I listened. That's what most sissies do when we are children. We sit apart and we listen. My mother once told me that the power of language resides in its sound, even before, especially before, we can comprehend its meaning. The same could be said about memory. When I recall my life in Mississippi, what I hear are the rich sounds of the voices that surrounded me. And from those sounds come the words, the movement of conversation. And it's, uh, it's the way perhaps a composer hears a symphony before transcribing its notes, making it attainable for others who want to listen just as intently to what he hears. Although there is a kind of alchemy involved, there is an equal measure of faith in one's own voice, the sound into which, sound, <laughs> the sound into which all others combine.